Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK. Um, and today we're going to cover off just a very quick video on when your hard drive fails. So it does happen. Um, that's why we use uh, NAS devices with multiple drives in it with a redundant RAID mode. Um, everything I'm going to show you today applies only if you have a redundant RAID mode configured for your disks. If you're only using one disk or you're using a RAID mode like RAID 0, um, it will not cover um, a, a loss of a drive. So you'll have to basically reset your, your device up once you replace the drive. Um, but if you're using anything like uh, RAID 1, RAID 5, uh, RAID 6, RAID 10, 50, 60, um, all of those would tolerate um, at least one drive failure. Some of them, uh, lots more than, than one drive failure, depends on the mode you select. Um, but I do have a uh, failed four terabyte drive that I dug out of a drawer and I've plugged it into the NAS with a couple of healthy drives. So I've got a three drive RAID 5 setup right now, uh, knowingly created uh, with a bad drive uh, just for the purpose of the demo. Um, so we can see here the dashboard icon at the top right of the interface is a uh, unusual orange color. It's normally just a uh, same color as the rest of the icons. So we're trying to draw your attention up here that there's a problem. So if I click on that, we can see here that we've got a couple of messages. So it's saying disk 3's health is not good. Uh, please refer to the disk health page for more information. And there's a second message that I can click to. Uh, RAID group 2 and storage pool 2 is degraded. So it's letting me know that it's not in the best shape and I should go and deal with it basically. So if I go into storage and snapshots, I'll be able to go and see a bit more information. So I'm going to click on the disk slash VJ bod screen. This is a very handy screen because it shows you where all the disks are laid out. So on the desktop uh, chassis NAS, it's usually very obvious which disk is which. But when you click on the disk, it highlights exactly which bay um, has the uh, uh, the problem drive in. So you can see here there's a big orange exclamation mark drawing me to disk 3. Um, this is very useful on the rack mount units because um, there's not really anywhere on the front of those with the, the, the tight arrangement of the disks. Um, we do put it on a sticker on the top of the chassis, but if you have something rack mounted directly above one of our rack mount units, you won't see that sticker unless you were to slide it out. Um, so this is a very easy way for you to um, reference which disk is actually uh, the, the failed one, where, where it's located in the chassis. Uh, now my disk has just got a warning on it, it hasn't actually failed yet. Um, so none of the bay lights on the front of my NAS are flashing red that there's a failed disk. It's still detected, it's still functioning, um, but it's not working at a great in a great situation. We can see here that the maximum speed is supposed to be 6 gig a second, but it's only running at 3, so there's a lot of other problems there. Um, so what we're going to do is just replace that disk. So all I'm simply going to do is grab hold of that disk, eject it out of the NAS. So I've pulled that out now. Um, I've got a healthy disk uh, to push back in in the same slot into disk bay 3. Um, so I'll get that ready. Um, and that's just going to pop up as a, as a missing disk in a moment. So we'll just wait for that to appear. And now because I'm using RAID 5, I can tolerate a single drive failure. Um, if another one was to fail, uh, that would be a, a bad situation. Um, I would lose the data on the disk. In this example, there is no data to lose. So we're just waiting for that disk to disappear. Uh, so we should get some uh, messages popping up. We'll get some notifications popping up up there. And the disk uh, in bay number three will disappear uh, from the list there as well. So we'll just wait for that to happen. There we go. So we can see error hardware status host disk 3 has been disconnected. Uh, so the storage manager here is caught up as well. So disk bay 3 has now uh, gone missing from the array. So I'm going to push the new disk 3 inside now. We can also see that up here we do have a couple of notifications. So it's telling me that uh, my storage pool is not in good shape um, and my host disk 3 has been disconnected. So I can clear those messages for now. And we'll just wait for disk 3 to repopulate to be detected with the new healthy disk. Okay, so now we can see that disk 3 has been detected now. So there we go, we can see disk 3 has been detected. It started rebuilding the storage pool immediately. So we can go down and check that all the disks are showing up as healthy. So we can see that they're all showing as a good status, no problems. If we click up to the dashboard, which is now no longer the orange color, um, all the error messages have disappeared. And if we go and check the storage and snapshot screen, we should see that my storage pool 2, where the hard drives are done, is all ready to go and ready rebuilt. 
Uh, just a note here that this is running QUTS Hero with a ZFS file system. Um, it only rebuilds areas of the storage where data is actually stored. And as you can see here, mine is pretty empty, so it rebuilds instantly. Um, if you're using our QTS-based operating system, this process could take a few hours, um, just as it's a more traditional RAID setup with a traditional file system. Um, it rebuilds the, the whole pool, um, even if there is no data in it. Um, so that's why that was rebuilt and ready to go and did a full RAID 5 rebuild in, in no time at all. Okay, hopefully you found that useful. It's really a, a hands-off process from the interface. You don't even need to be in here. Um, as a general rule, you can do everything just at the front of the NAS, pull the disk out, uh, put the new disk in. It will take care of everything automatically. Um, all this uh, information here is just so that you can see the status of what step it's at uh, in the process of swapping the drives out and rebuilding your storage. So the whole time there, um, I did not lose access to the storage. My important data folder is still there. Um, absolutely no data loss. Okay, thanks very much for watching.